Lisa Karja give a special Cade Mila Falcha to the official representative of the people and the state of Palestine in our country, to Dr. Jalan Wabba Abdelwood, the Palestinian ambassador to Ireland. We're joined now by Dr. Jilan Waba Abdel Majid, Ambassador, Head of Mission of Palestine to Ireland. Dr. Abdel Majid, you're very welcome indeed to Morning Ireland. What do you think of what Hamas did on Saturday morning? Um, first of all, good morning. Um, I really was shocked by, uh, I'm not here actually to, to criticize, but I really was shocked with all the information that you have mentioned uh, in the last like 10, uh, 10 minutes about um, how, how the Israelis suffer. And you ignore 2 million Palestinian people who really endured uh, the occupation, oppression, humiliation, and violation of international law under the uh, uh, Israeli occupation for, for more than for decades. Uh, today we're talking about an all-out war that has been declared by the Israeli against the Palestinian people. Uh, you ignored those people. Uh, uh, I mean, 90, 90, 90 child since uh, uh, since three days uh, have been uh, attacked and killed. You talk about 15 families all wiped out. You talk about more than five uh, 400 people that innocent people that uh, were killed by the latest Israeli um aggression against Gaza, and uh, we are expecting more. Um, I, I'm, I'm here, I wanted to talk about uh, about all these um, mm. um, uh, oppression and aggression and occupation uh, and the suffering of the Palestinian people. But, but I'm asking we, you, what do yeah. you think of what Hamas did on Saturday morning? I mean, it's uh, let me let me um, let me say something. Uh, we have first before you talk about Hamas and what's going on there. We have uh, we have to talk about the the, the root causes uh, of the grave situation. No, that, let, let's uh, let's just talk about what Hamas did on Saturday morning. That is where we are at today. A five-year-old girl, a three-year-old sister taken along with their mother, an elderly woman with dementia captured, made to cradle a rifle and pose for photographs alongside a masked gunman, a woman in her 60s hiding in a bush for two hours after witnessing a dozen others being gunned down at a bus stop. 250 young people hunted down and shot dead, others taken hostage. What do you think of that? I'm here to talk about my people, uh, my dear. I mean, I'm here to talk about the Palestinian. I'm talking about I lost two of, of my cousins. Uh, I mean, in a, in a couple of days, uh, uh, leaving like, you know, they are in, in, in the mid 20s, leaving a family with children. I'm talking about hundreds of the Palestinian children who suffer. I'm here to talk about the, the Palestinian suffering. Mm. I'm not here to talking about, I mean, with all, I mean, it, nobody wanted to see this violence. No one wanted to talk about killings. But at, at the end of the day, I'm here representing my people. I wanted to talk about the suffering feel, of my people. Do you feel no sympathy? Do you feel no sympathy for the suffering of the Israeli civilians? I mean, civilians? what is this question? I mean, what is this question? I feel sympathy about my people. I see the suffering of the, of, of the people, the Palestinian people who are suffering and endure this, uh, this uh, occupation for decades, suffering, displacement. I mean, I'm talking about... 70, uh, 73 uh, thousands of Palestinians that in the last couple of days they were displaced. They are uh, under severe attack of the Israeli uh, worship from land, I mean, from sea and from air. What do you want to talk about? I'm talking here about those Palestinians who are really under severe oppression. We are talking here and I'm calling Ireland. But I'm wondering the then, I'm asking you, Dr. Abdel Majid, what will what Hamas did on Saturday morning, what will that achieve for the Palestinian people? Listen, I mean, uh, I mean, for for decades, uh, the, the the oppression of the, I mean, the oppression of the Palestinian people. We, in the last few uh, years, we were talking about that this violation of international law and the oppression against the Palestinian people will not will not stay like that. There will be consequences. And uh, we were talking to the international community that this situation should find a, a just solution. We should find political horizons. Uh, the Palestinian left without hope. What do you expect from a people that really endured this oppression for decades? 
to do. I mean, there is no protection. Uh, all these. I mean, when when I talk, when you talk about about the the the, the suffering uh, of of the Palestinian people, that they don't see any hope uh, for the young generations, that they didn't see any any change uh, for decades. What do you expected those people to think about it? I mean, we have a just cause we have the right to defend ourselves we have the right uh, to self determinations we are a human being we're not less human being any other human but being but does the, the world actions have- of hamas does that not further condemn 2 million plus palestinians in gaza specifically to another israeli onslaught more death more injury more suffering My- my God, the same questions that all our representatives and, and the leadership have been asked this. Tell me, you yourself, those condemnations, those worrying, those concerns for decades, what did change the situation? The situation is deteriorating. The, t- the situation is getting complicated. And within the next couple of days, Israel insists to destroy, as Netanyahu said and declared, he will erupt Gaza, he will wipe up Gaza. What do you think about the two million Palestinians who live in this uh, high condensed and blockade uh, uh, the Gaza Strip suffer from blockade for the, the past 17 years? I'm talking what about the two million this? Palestinians, Ambassador. I'm asking you what Hamas did on Saturday morning. That hasn't helped them, has it? Uh, listen, uh, I mean, uh, Hamas is part of the Palestinian people. You cannot deny it, whether you accept it or you don't accept it, whether I agree or disagree uh, how Hamas think, but it's part of the Palestinian people. Uh, I'm here to represent to represent all the Palestinian people, and I'm here to talk about every single Palestinian people. I'm representing the whole Palestinian, whether they support or whether they support Fatih or whether they support other Palestinian faction. Ambassador, do you condemn what Hamas did at the weekend? Oh my God! I mean, th- this, this, I mean, this questions that has been asked all our ambassadors. And this morning, I had three or four interviews asking me the same questions. You know how many condemnations all over the 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 the, the, that the, the Palestinians uh, uh, heard about about condemnations uh, about worrying these wording doesn't affect what's going on what is really matter is taking an action taking an actions i i I said before like all civilians are protected in the international law 